Christmas. Uh, hey, welcome back to the channel for day number six of the nine days of Castmas. Today we are here with Miss Mora Bishop. I did do a few minor tweaks to her characteristics, meaning I did lighten up her hair because a lot of the Sims that we have made over thus far do have black hair, and I wanted to add a little bit of variation. I also gave her this super cute pixie cut because I felt like it suit her. She has a very beautiful, like, round face, and I wanted the focus to be actually on her facial features, and so I just decided um, just to go ahead and play with a shorter hairstyle. I thinned out her eyebrows too. I've been noticing that is something I've been doing throughout all of these makeovers is giving my sims thinner eyebrows. I don't know like what type of wave I'm on, but I really, really like it. And then I also threw in a little mole there. So Miss Mora Bishop, her aspiration is to have a big happy family. She's a good sim at heart. She really loves the outdoors. She specifically loves to go on hikes. Like anywhere everywhere if you take this girl on a hike she'll probably love you long time like she is just an outdoor enthusiast through and through uh but the downfall to miss mora is that she has a bit of a short fuse and oftentimes can be found to be a little too serious a little too boring and i wanted that to kind of transcend into her wardrobe so she is very casual she kind of dresses a little bit older for her age she is very serious and i guess just maybe it's probably attributed to what she's been through unfortunately I have written out a little bit of a backstory for her and um, I haven't really done that or been able to do that too much with these videos because I've been kind of creating them with you guys in lifetime so doing it kind of speed cast style allows me to take a moment to think and collect my thoughts and then you know communicate them with you or whatever but basically Miss Laura was an only child, and she dreams of having a big, happy family of her own someday. Her love for children goes beyond wanting a few of her own. She's currently a substitute teacher in San Maishino. Before becoming a sub, she was a nanny for a family where she worked part-time while her fiancé worked in business. They always talked about marriage and kids, but sadly, Mora caught him being unfaithful one day. It created a bitterness in her heart that hasn't healed, however, the desire to be a mother there still remains and I think that is something that can kind of speak towards her <laughs> her trait of being a little a little hot-headed she she she's she's a woman that knows what she wants and she doesn't really need anybody else to get it I can envision Mora once she gets a better footing in her career I can see her maybe adopting a child or uh, potentially I don't know, maybe like some sort of IVF treatment or something. I don't really know exactly how she's going to obtain children, hopefully the legal way. But I can definitely see Mora being a mom in the future and a damn good one at that. It was really tricky to add like her her traits into the story because I was like, well, you know, like these are these are kind of like a very dynamic set of traits, but I feel like they do fit her. And I do like the fact that she comes off very very cool, calm, and collected, but she will snap your head off like a praying mantis if you get too testy. So I like that about her, but she, yeah, she does come off very serious. Her humor is very dry. I just think she needs to meet the right sim to really kind of, you know, allow her to blossom, allow her to feel safe because after what happened with her fiance, she really doesn't want to open up to anybody. She really doesn't want to need anyone. She really just wants to do it on her own, and there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, I just feel like, you know, poor, poor Mora is just kind of bipping and bobbling through life, and I hope her dreams are answered one day, and I hope that they come true for her. Uh, but anyways, yeah, her outfits are definitely a little, a little, a little chill, which is nice, because I feel like all of the other wardrobes I've done this far are pretty much out there, and a little, a little crazy, even though I did do a few things definitely different with her, I really love how it turned out in the end. I must to say you guys this challenge has been a challenge it has put me to the ultimate test when creating sims and i've had so much fun if anything this cast challenge has reignited my imagination my inspiration for for playing the sims and it's really made me want to create more stories and maybe even do like little mini series here and there maybe we don't get so you know like deep in the trenches and we just play a sim for an x amount of parts just to see how their their life is and you know where it takes us and how it goes and then move on to the next story you know i think that would be a lot of fun actually i really do because sometimes having those long drawn out lps they can get a little boring they can get a little redundant 
and your inspiration your creativity can kind of run out whereas i feel like playing multiple stories and multiple sims um can you know kind of keep things interesting and, and juicy so that is definitely something i want to play with in the future but anyways you guys that is miss mora she will be available on the gallery at gen 2606 and if you have anything else to add about this sim or to the sim story just let me know in the comments down below i've been really really enjoying reading your comments and your theories on these sims it's been so much fun to read so keep it coming and uh yeah anyways you guys i'm gonna have to go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys let's go get snowed in let's go